everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new hi i'm grace and today's video is going to be on structuring your university scientific essay so as i said in my last video which is about planning your scientific essay although this um predominantly focuses on uh, scientific essays at university this video can still be beneficial for any other type of essay whether that's scientific or otherwise so whether you're doing GCSEs, A levels or any other types of qualifications make sure to continue watching as you may find that there's quite a few helpful sort of generic tips and tricks within this video that could really help you out okay so please subscribe down below if you haven't already give this video a big thumbs up and let's get into the video so in terms of an overarching structure to your essay, it's important to have an introduction, uh, three or four key paragraphs and a conclusion. So I'm now going to go through the key parts of what you, to include in your introduction, your paragraphs and your conclusion. So the introduction to your essay is essentially highlighting the context and the relevant background to do with the topic um, regarding the question you're answering. It sets out the main argument and leads the reader in a direction um, within the essay. So the first thing you want to do with your introduction is to define. So defining key concepts and terms that are included in your essay title and also concepts that you're going to discuss within your essay. So, for example, if you were writing an answer to the question, describe the role of phagocytic cells of the immune system in viral infection, you could go ahead and define phagocytic cells, viral infection, and also state what the main cells of the immune system are to give an um, overarching view of the question. So after you've defined, you then want to outline. So outline the main messages and the key points of what you're going to cover in your essay. So this could literally just be a couple of sentences. The first sort of conveying your main message and then the second summarising the key points, which will essentially lead to your overall conclusion. So I've written an introduction here and on the next slide in regards to the example question that I just talked about. Um, I'm not going to read through it. You can pause the video and read through it if you would like to. Um, but essentially what I've done here, and um, there's no way um, perfect by any means. This is just um, an example of how I've looked at defining and outlining and then applied that to a specific question. So here I've just sort of um, briefly outlined what the immune system is and what it's made up of, um, defined phagocytic cells and then talked about viral infection as well. And then I've gone on to outline the role of phagocytes within viral infection and then um, indicated the uh, key points that I'm going to make within the essay. So the main body, so your paragraphs. So it's really important to um, start these with an active subheading. So what this means is you're not just, for example, putting, uh, I don't know, phagocytosis as the subheading, you're putting um, phagocytosis plays a role in immune control or something like that. You're saying um, what it does, talking about its active process. So starting with an active subheading is something that's really important because not only it's um, giving an insight to your reader is what your paragraph's going to be about, but it can also help you when you're writing your essay to sort of lead it in the direction you want it to go so it's clear and concise. And then within the paragraph itself, you want to start with a key point and then back that up with evidence from scientific papers. Critically analyse those. Now, critical analysis can be tricky. I know that I found this tricky in, in the past, not only to actually um, apply it, but understanding it in the first place and what it is can be difficult. Um, so I will be doing a video on critical analysis as well. So make sure to subscribe to look out for that one. And then finally, you want to relate your answer back to the question. Also, something that's really uh, beneficial within um, your essays are including diagrams. So diagrams are a really great way of summarising information um, with, without sort of taking up the words within your specified word count. So including uh, clear diagrams that are relevant to your essay and to your paragraphs and your key points is something that I think is really beneficial. So I've just given an example of a paragraph here. So as you can see, um, I've used an active heading. So I've said virus infected cells are eliminated by phagocytosis. And then again, I'm not going to read through the whole paragraph. But as you read through, you'll be able to see that we've got the key point to start with. And I've made sure to also include relevant citations as well. And then I've talked about studies um, and how they relate to each other and sort of talked about um, 
the positives of phagocytosin are limiting virus infected cells, um, but also um, critically analysing this as to why it may not be um, effective in, with some virus infections. Um, and then at the end, I've just uh, summarised this and linked it back to the question. So finally, your conclusion. So this, I really want to say, is not just a repetition of your introduction. Um, a conclusion is synthesising the key points. So rather within the introduction, we sort of summarise what our key points are going to be. We're actually synthesising the key points within the conclusion and reiterating the main argument. Um, but also, in addition to conclusion, which you don't necessarily talk about within your introduction as much, is suggestions for further research and also setting um, the things you talked about in your essay into wider contexts and why they are important. So within your conclusion, you first want to summarise. So uh, bringing together your key points and summarising the discussion you've made within your essay and then coming to an overall verdict. So an overall answer um, and you're communicating this in order to convey your final conclusion uh, of your overall essay to the reader. OK, so I hope you guys found that video useful. And if you did, please make sure to comment down below or message me if you have any further questions as well on Instagram at Biology with Gracie. And please subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and you have found it useful. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.